Hi guys, it's Sam. Sorry it's so dark, but I don't have my, I'm not sitting in front of my uh, uh, mirror with the lights. I am sitting on the floor because I am going to be tackling this drawer and decluttering it next. And as you can tell, it's open, which has been driving me insane. And it's time to go through this. So this is going, going to be another declutter video. And I am decluttering my, what I have in here are my t-shirts kind of like my cotton t-shirts and my cotton tank tops which I put together and it's just too many things in there and I need to go through it so let's get started and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this so I'm just going to actually let me move back here and just start pulling things out because I guess that's the best way I can't even open it all the way so these are my t-shirts that I'm pulling out okay oh goodness <laughs> Take tops there. Okay. So I still feel like I I still have the urge to declutter, which is good. Oh, that's also also I have my long sleeve t-shirts in here, which I don't own too many because I get hot really easily. Uh, so it's just not something that I invest in. Okay, so I am done with that and this is way too many to go through one by one with you so I am going to put this into piles and I will be back to show you the results. Okay, so I just finished going through all of my t-shirts and <laughs> it's a lot. It's funny how, you know, this these are all my clothes and I somehow collected all these t-shirts yet when they're tucked away into the drawer you just don't realize how much you actually own of one item so seeing it like this is um kind of shocking and i feel a little bit silly uh, so i'm glad i'm going through this declutter process let's start with this end that right there that's very small pitiful pile is the pile that i know i am going to donate which isn't a lot i know there is a silver lining though this pile right here is i gave myself two months if i don't reach for it if it's too small too large i don't like it uh, i am going to be tossing it so if i end up do keeping some things it will go with the pile that i'm gonna piles that i'm gonna talk about next but that is a lot and i'm sure more than half of it actually will probably go into that pile which i think is a good step not perfect but progress right progress not perfection okay these two piles this one is are the t-shirts with that i am going to be keeping this pile has a print or a design on it and then this these are my solids and i i'm keeping these things in part because i just got a lot of these recently and when i'm going shopping it's something that i try to remind myself is this a piece that you're going to wear for years to come or is it trendy you know so i really trying to get pieces that i really like and well and also love so you know this might you know i might go through this again in six months but this is where i am at right now and that pile i will be letting go of a lot of that pile okay so i was in the middle of going through my tank tops and i'm having not specifically with the tank top portion but um throughout this whole decluttering process not it would close and make up and everything that i'm going through uh I'm having a hard time going through this stuff and letting go of these things because in my mind I it's always the same question like the question is what about if you need it for that occasion that might arise in the future you might need that tank top that you've never worn with a skull on it who knows maybe you'll need it to go for to a Halloween party or yeah, there's a skull day or something you know something silly like that it's really kind of hindering this declaring process because that's 
Um, they, I've watched the show Hoarders, and they say don't touch stuff that you're going to get rid of because you feel a connection to something when you touch it. And I definitely feel like there is some truth to that. But then there's also, I've heard um, recently about the Kenmari method where she tells you to touch the stuff and ask if it brings, if it brings you joy. Uh, so I'm just having a bit of a hard time, not just with the tank tops, but with everything that I'm, the things that I'm letting go of, um, especially asking myself, or it's, there's a voice inside my head that says, you might need that, you might need that. So let me know if you guys go through this when you're decluttering. And I just, yeah, I just want to let you know what was going through my mind as I have sorted through my tank tops. So I just finished going through my tank tops and I just wanted to show you I used that skull example and this is why because I think this tank top is so cool but I rarely wear it so this is going to go into the pile of things that if I don't wear in the next two months and these are these are all part of that pile if I don't wear it in the next two months I will be donating it and I want to talk to you about this tank top this tank top is beautiful I absolutely love it but it's a little tight on me and that's kind of uh, a point that I wanted to make is that keeping things around in hopes that you fit into it is sort of like a punishment and I go through that on a daily basis where I pull out things I try them on and they're too tight but I hang on to them in hopes that I lose the weight and I am trying to lose some weight but you shouldn't keep clothes around like that and um, this is going to go into that pile as well uh, so if I don't wear it in the next two months, it's going to go. This pile are the pile, is the pile that I am going to be donating. And then this pile is the one I know that I'm keeping. And it's so funny because this just includes the, <laughs> the, the Old Navy high neck tank tops that I absolutely love. And I will be keeping these for sure. I really, really like these. I mean, come on. I said absolutely love, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I've said that a couple times in this video already, and I know that could get kind of annoying, but these are just fantastic. They're feel nice. They're just the tank tops that I um, love because they're high neck, and yeah, enough about these. Okay, here are my long sleeve shirts, and they're, this was probably the easiest pile to go through. This is uh, this is the lone uh, long sleeve that I'm going to be, if I don't wear it in the next two months, then I will be donating it. This is the pile that I will be donating for sure. So that goes over there. And then this pile here are the long sleeve shirts that I will be keeping and putting back in the drawer. Although it's kind of hard to go through long sleeve t-shirt long sleeve shirts in the summertime. Uh, and I will be revisiting this in the winter. I am not <laughs> it's so funny. In the winter I dress like it's fall. Uh, so there might be one or there might be a few of these shirts that are going to be going into the donate pile. But um, I really like this, like this fox one. I can't, I can't get that away yet. So uh, yeah, that's where I'm at, at with the long sleeve. So this will go, <coughs> excuse me, real life. And now let's do an overview of what I just went through. That small, very small, very, very small pile are the items that I will be donating. This pile here are the clothes that if I don't wear in two months, they will have to go to the donate pile. And if I find that I do like the things in here that I pull out, I will be putting into this pile. And I know this is the biggest one, but please keep in mind that this does include my tank tops, my long sleeves, and my t-shirts. And I will be revisiting everything here, uh, everything in this pile again in the future. Does this make anybody else happy? I am so glad that I'm able to see things in here. There's tons of room. So these are my t-shirts with prints on them and designs. Uh, these are my plain t-shirts, which I know some of you would probably like it color coordinated. Ava's hair. Uh, but I maybe I'll do that another time. And then I put my tank tops on top of my long sleeves. And there are a few tank tops that are missing from here. Uh, but it won't take up a lot of room. So I am loving this drawer now. <laughs> it gives me such a great feeling. Um, and going through this stuff I feel like was a little bit worth it. Because this is so satisfying to see. And look. Ta-da! I'm able to close it. 
I thought I would end this video by doing uh, a face-to-face -face and having just a little chat. I feel like this video, this declutter is a bit true to what I was feeling at the moment that I am getting rid of stuff and the things that are going through my head. I'm still looking at that pile of clothes that if I don't wear in the next two months, I have to donate it and it's um, not giving me anxiety per se, but I wish I had the, the strength uh, to just get rid of all that stuff but there's that voice in the back of my mind that's like no no you gotta give them a fair chance at uh, get you know being worn uh, which is really really sick <laughs> um, but yeah that's just what I'm feeling at the moment and I hope that I can part with those clothes I think I will be able to a lot of those things I really have not worn or touched and that's another thing too is your style changes and it evolves you change and so it's only natural that your clothes change too and um, why keep things around if you're not wearing them someone else could have a chance to wear them like I've been saying throughout the declutter process especially with my clothes somebody else could really be enjoying them and I keep I feel like I keep my clothes in pretty good condition so um, yeah, somebody else might be able to wear them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Not sure what I'm going to do next. I have my, like, undershirts and stuff, but I don't think I'm going to show you that. I'm probably not going to show you, uh, decluttering my underwear, uh, my pajamas or my, uh, you know, undergarments and stuff like that. Like, uh, slips and, I do own slips, by the way, uh, and, like, undershirt things. So, I hope you guys uh, are doing well if you're on a declutter journey. It's very hard, but it's also fulfilling um, when you are able to open your drawer and see the clothes that you have in there and not be a mess. That's a great feeling. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Say goodnight, Ava. <laughs> Bye, guys.